Michael Haverty, uh, Senior Agricultural Economist with Anderson's Farm Business Consultants. You're speaking today at the Farmers Journal uh, Global Trade Conference. You spoke a lot around um, you know, potential trade tariffs arising out of Brexit and the UK leaving the European Union. In simple terms for a farmer, what sort of costs do you think or does your group see that could be put on our beef exports, we'll say a tonne of export of beef leaving our country? What, what, do you, what do you see? Well, I think, you know, the impact could be substantial. Very much depends on the terms of exit. But as I mentioned there earlier on today, like you've got your 12.8% standard tariff that would go on uh, the price of the the good going into the UK at the moment. So if it's, I don't know, 385 uh, cents per kilo, you have to put the 12.8% on top of that. But then you're looking at an additional amount again. And for boneless beef, that could be uh, up to three euros per kilo going on on top of that as well so once that would happen you know the price in in Ireland would have to uh, decrease significantly if it was that hard Brexit uh, scenario that did come to pass so a major Im- impact I would suggest from a um, you know the that kind of a cost added on on top of our, of our beef prices already and how uncompetitive that could make us in the market mm. you know what kind of a uh, what, what would, in your perspective, be the optimal outcome from the Brexit negotiations to you know, minimise that risk? I think from our perspective and taking account of different sides as well, we'd very much like to see a transitional arrangement put in place, a customs union plus type of option. So the UK would still adhere to the common external tariffs uh, with the rest of the European Union, but trade between both uh, would be permitted on a free basis. There would need to be some amendments to that. Uh, you know, Agriculture would need to be part of that deal, uh, but we'd also see a need for financial services, which of course is very important to UK to be also included within that as well. So I think that's a critical first step that will allow organisations companies as well, the infrastructure in different countries to start to adapt. What the UK appears to be looking for in the longer term is a free trade deal uh, between it and the rest of the European Union and I think that that is the direction that the UK ultimately wishes to go to take account of its need um, to control UK's laws internally, not to be subject to the European Court of Justice for instance. Okay. Uh, And the final question I suppose, you talked about how um, you know the the, the costs arising under Brexit from things could could see an 8 to 10 percent increase in cost just from from customs alone like could you just talk a little bit about that you know I suppose what that could mean for uh, our business agri-food business is trying to export even through UK to get to the continent. Yeah I think the impact of that could be significant that 8 to 10 percent is based on a number of studies that were done in the lead up to the referendum but I think you need to take account of time here you need to take account of customs procedures I mentioned there earlier on some of the customs offices in in the UK are used to closing at four o'clock in the evening well that's not much good uh, if you want to get your product uh, shipped out into the continent and to take it back to a more practical example within Ireland if you are an abattoir the way things work now if you're shipping lambs out to France you try and get as many trucks as possible to meet that boat so that it can just transit onwards into the continent if it's under WTO rules you know first of all you may have to inform UK customs that you're coming that takes a bit of time then potentially in a worst case scenario you might have to undertake some checks as you're going through the UK at the other end as you come back into France could Irish hauliers be caught up with the UK hauliers as well and some more delays being caused there and that for that reason I think it's quite important that the Irish and French work closely together on this as well to okay. ensure as smooth a trade as possible. Okay, some very interesting things there. Thank you very much Michael. Okay, very, very good. Thanks Michael.